Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to show you is how we can use these results for differentiating the hyperbolic functions shine x, which is cosh x, differential of cosh x, which is shine x, and the differential of than x, which is sech squared x. I'm giving you these without any proof, but uh, if you want to see the proof of these, do check out later videos in this series. So I've got here four questions that are going to use the chain rule, the product and the quotient rules. You might in fact even like to have a go at them and uh, fast forward the video just to see the final answers. But I'm going to take you slowly through the methods anyway. So we start with the first one. We've got y equals cosh 3x. And to differentiate something like this, I'm going to need to use the chain rule. So what I'd do is say let t equal the 3x. And so that means that therefore we've got y equals the cosh of t. And the chain rule, just in the usual way, we know the chain rule is that dy by dx is the same as dy by dt times dt by dx. So using that, then, we can say that, therefore, dy dx is going to be equal to dy by dt. So if we differentiate cosh t with respect to t, then using this result here, we can see that it will be shine t. So we'll have the shine of t, but I won't write t in. I'll replace it then with 3x. So we've got the shine of 3x, and that's multiplied by dt by dx. Differentiate t with respect to x, and you've got 3. And cleaning this up, we end up with this equaling 3 shine of 3x. So there's the first one. Now for the second one, we've got y equals shine cubed x, which we can write as shine of x all cubed. And for this one, we would need to use the chain rule. We would let t equal shine of x. So if that's the case, then we've got y equaling t cubed. So therefore, dy by dx is going to be equal to dy by dt, which is going to be 3t squared. So we've got 3 times t squared, but t is shine x. So we've got shine of x all squared. And then multiply it by dt by dx. So the differential of shine x is going to be cosh x. So we've got that multiplied with cosh of x. Cleaning this up, we end up with 3 shine squared x cosh x. OK? So I just sectioned that off there. Might as well section that one off up there as well. Now in number 3, y equals 5x squared than x. We use the product rule here. So we've got dy by dx equals... And if I take the first part here, 5x squared, and differentiate that, that's going to be 10x, and multiply it with fan of x, and then it's plus, and then we take the 5x squared, and multiply it by the differential of fan x, which we can see is sech squared x. Okay, so the product rule there. In number 4 here, y equals 3 shine of 5x all over 4x cubed. We're going to pick up on the quotient rule. So with the quotient rule then, dy by dx is going to be equal to the denominator here, 4x cubed. And I multiply this by the differential of 3 shine 5x. And if I use the chain rule on this, much the same as I did here, then it's going to be 3 times the 5, which is going to be 15. And then we're going to have the differential of shine. It turns out to be cosh, so it'll be cosh 
of 5x. Okay, so I've cut corners here. I haven't actually laid it out fully as the chain rule, but hopefully you can see that. And then with the quotient rule, it's going to be minus, and then we've got the top of the fraction, 3 shine 5x, multiplied by differential of the bottom here. So differentiating that's going to give me 12x squared. And then that's all divided by the denominator, all squared. So squaring 4x cubed is just going to give me 16x to the power 6. Now I can pull out 12x squared as a common factor. So if I do that, we've then got, well this is going to be 60x cubed. So it just leaves me with a 5 in here and an x. And we've got cosh of 5x and then minus here we've got the 12 threes which are 36 I've already got 12 out the front so I just need 3 there and we've already got the x squared out the front so it's just going to be 3 shine of 5x and that's all divided then by 16x to the power 6 now I can divide top and bottom here by 4x squared so that's just going to re reduce down to 3 times all of 5x cosh of 5x minus 3 shine 5x and dividing the bottom by 4x squared is just going to give me 4x to the power 4 Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea then on how we can apply these results for differentiating the hyperbolic function shine x, cosh x, and than x. Okay, 